Yeah. Well, I told you I'm going to be introducing a surprise guest. This guest of mine, somebody I know from, from way back, right? And um, he's a rapper now of international repute. And uh, I know him when he was a little boy singing annoying songs in the bathroom, always humming some song here and there. Ah, you too, you think your, your voice is sweet. And uh, today he is a Grammy nominated uh, musician. And yeah, and I'm so glad to go to meet the legend OK in the house. And this guy happens to be my son. <laughs> I, come, I, 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 I gave him the name Yao Ofori City Misa. He got big and popular, and now he's called uh, Blackway. So put your hands together. Show some of Blackway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Blackway, you're sitting by a legend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. And uh, this this is amazing, man. It's such a pleasure. You know, just listening to you talk while I'm backstage is like you say the more you learn, you know, the more you the find more, out you are ignorant. The more I listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, you know. We're just listening to you speak and it's Charlie, as soon as I leave, I'm gonna pick up a book. <laughs> I'm going on ah, Google. Thank you, you thank know? you, thank yeah. you Tabba. You are such a handsome man. <laughs> Does he look like his father? Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, even in your poppy days. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes, but I, I was so great, you know, when, when, when you were coming, I said, wow, it would be a good time to meet with him. I know. You know, and you were in the audience, so you've heard about his stuff about. Of course. All that he went through and everything. Of course. And he has come back. Um, he did um, this clip for. Superman, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man into the uh, uh, Spider-Verse. So for me, right now, that has probably been my biggest accomplishment, you know, just getting the opportunity to work on such a big film with such a big studio, Marvel Studios, and, you know, just being a kid watching the comic books, reading the comic books and, you know, growing up on these superheroes. Years later, I get to be a part of, you know, a project that big. For me, it was like... Yeah, and I, the whole time I'm doing it, I'm like, hey, I can't wait for my dad to hear that. I ah. <laughs> it's funny because the first time uh, I was on set, just watching, uh, it was probably 2015, I think the last time I was here. And then while I was here, I remember even mommy kept saying, oh, you should go on dad's show, you should go on dad's show. And I always remember telling myself, no, I want to earn it. So <laughs> I want to wait till he asks me to I come. Know, this, is, this is the right time. Right. This is the right time. Exactly, right exactly. Yes, so yes, yes. I'm, very, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> And, and what, what is exciting me about, because so Chami Kwame, you began this uh, whole Made in Ghana thing. Yes. The president has introduced this new angle of uh, the, 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 the return. Yes, the birthright. Yeah, birthright. Yes. And he has returned. Yes. And I've always been sort of hoping that I c he could make a link, like meet you. I know. And then see what fireworks you guys can. But, but you know that um, four, about four years ago, I came here to this office to come and speak to your dad about you. Oh, yeah, yes, right. I, I drove from my house. Me. That's like, crazy. Like, because I had stumbled on some of your stuff yeah. online. Yeah. And I came to tell that your son is so talented. Oh, your man. son, please don't block him. Let him shine. Oh, <laughs> man. He made Ghana proud one day. Thank you know, you. so I'm so happy that you have come. And I know that since you've been here, you are going through the saga of the returning. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but however, please calm down because I think that this is the best time mm -hmm. for you to be an African in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, especially operating from New York mm -hmm. and then the, with um, Nane Kufuado launching the extended version of the Year of Return, he say, he calls it the birthright. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like we were speaking earlier, I think that we, we need to find a way to get at the forefront of the birthright, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And since you are already integrated in their system, let's bring all of them yeah. to come and experience Africa through music and visuals and let's bring them, you know, let's find a way to bring a lot more people to come and experience exactly. Africa mm. so that we make some money, mm -hmm. we make impact and then Africa will be able to share her resources with knowledgeable returnees like yourself. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And, and, uh, for me personally, like the, the Made in Ghana narrative, as soon as you brought it up, for me, it, it, it hit right home because as you know, I've been back and forth since, you know, I was, a, I was a small boy. I did some years here and then went to New York and did some years there. And for me, it's like as much as even though I've spent more time there, as, the, as much as I've learned over there, I've learned here. Yes. Whether it's 
just anything else or even creatively, you know, everything that I know in, from uh, music. In music, my whole creative process, I give as much credit to what I learned in Ghana mm. to what I learned in New York, even though my accent and everything is very New York. I pay attention to the Ghanaian markets, and that's another reason why I really came here. And as they were saying in New York, uh, I've been keeping my ear to the streets and like I've been meeting and it's so that's why it's so dope to be sitting here with you because I've been meeting with a lot of the the Ghanaian artists upcoming and already established mm. and just talking to them some of the DJs and just trying to figure out exactly as far as the music market what's going on in Ghana and you know how we can actually you know make it what we want to make it you know and it's, it's just been an experience for me and I've been applying that into what I'm doing creatively. So the whole Made in Ghana thing. Mm -hmm. The reason why I left New York is because I wanted to show that, hey, listen, you know, we got, we got, some, we got some over here that we want to talk about, you know? And I was raised here, so I feel like I want to give a lot of credit. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and I'm glad you're here, okay, and maybe I'm wrong, but I, I was telling him, you know, I said, um, you have a chance now to also show them where you come from, you know. And today, earlier, we were talking about the Fon Tron Front, for example. Yes. You said they were the biggest drums in, in yes, Africa. Yes, yeah. in the world. In the world. Yes, the biggest Fon Tron Front drums in the world are sitting uh, at National Theater. Oh, those yes, ones at National by, Theater. Yes. Those they, are the biggest. They are the biggest Fon Tron Front drums in the world. You know, because you can be in China and make a big drum, but it won't be Fon Tron Front. It won't be Fon Tron Front. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. so I was wondering, um, is there a place, you know, to, to introduce Phantom from into the, these things that you guys a, are doing now? Course. Exactly, of because, because of the whole concept of year of return yeah, and right. everybody is paying attention to what's happening here, mm -hmm. you know, um, I strongly believe that, yes, Afro pop is really popping. Mm -hmm. I think that we can experiment with some of the indigenous rhythms mm -hmm. right. that we mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. you know, and add it to hip hop because hip-hop is already experimentation of indigenous exactly, African rhythms, exactly. you know, so add it to, to what is out there mm -hmm. and create a new sound mm -hmm. that mm. can get the whole world to, 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 to perceive Ghana differently. Exactly, and right now I think, especially like for the, for the hip-hop world, the door is wide open for one, creativity, and two, going back and, and taking advantage of what we used to do before in the past and bringing it back to what we're doing now and you know incorporating that into what we're doing now so i feel like the door is wide open to even you know you know yeah yeah you so know. what are you guys going to do something oh, oh yes, of course. yes 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 we are talking about it already because we are in a very unique position mm. with the gift of the internet and being africans because we select from a much wider you know second friends mm -hmm. of ideas and philosophies and sounds and rhythms we are more fortunate than those africans who live in america and in jamaica right you know so mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we must take advantage of this very unique mm -hmm. unique position that we are in now especially with the whole world looking here yes. in ghana yeah, yeah. we must take advantage and hit the ground running yeah. so yeah, yeah like like we spoke about you know let's produce something indigenous and put some sick yeah. you know some oh, let's sick do conscious it. raps on it let's do it this is why yeah. i know i'm an old man now <laughs> let's put some sick conscious rap yeah. on it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that means it's dope yes that means oh yeah it's it's dope. Dope. i'm saying so yeah. i'm saying so but okay so um ochami kwami uh, especially now that we're talking about this whole return year of the return yes. is now being expanded into the birthright yes that's an amazing it's amazing yeah it's the, amazing. The, the commercial value of it value of it, it and amazing. the cultural it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing but speaking of uh, cultural values you know you went into a hairline because you said you were tired of Ghanaian women buying brazil can yeah. i <laughs> can <somebody do? laughs> you know you know that Every year, City... Th th thank you very much. City this is his brand. He's yeah. going to be talking to us a little bit about it. Yeah. Okay. You know that every year, City, um, City Online published that every year Ghana spends over $30 million on importing hair from Brazil and China and India. You know, and since we are trying to, to lower our balance of trade deficits, uh, how, how are we going to be able to make sure our women look beautiful and still not spend all this amount of dollars so we mm. can use this money into building hospitals or mm. starting to start mechanized farming you know so we have developed a, a product that is 100 percent made in ghana 
This is everything, made in Ghana? Everything is made. This um, factory is around Tema. It's around, um, you know, Casa Precum. And it employs over 2,500 people. You know, and this hair is made in Ghana from scratch. Everything from, from, from the rubber to the hair. Hmm. The only thing that's imported is um, something called canicolin. Um, that we import to turn it is a, like a nylon bee that we use to turn it into hair. So everything, and the company that produces this hair, every man pays about 1.5 million Ghana cities in taxes only. Hmm. Yes. You know, so once we produce hair, once we find a way to, to compete, at least if not to shut it off completely, to find a way to compete. So when you buy one of these hairs, not only do you keep the Ghanaian economy running you keep your cousin employed employed yes <laughs> the unique thing we have about it is that we added a little color uh, give me let me show let me show you this one or yes the, hold on. this one is good so whenever you buy hair it's predominantly black mm. or brown mm. but we added a little color to it okay. so that you don't if you want it to be colorful you don't now have to go and buy another 20 cities of color to add to it so we've already given you the color already. And this hair, not because I'm selling, we developed it for my daughter. It's called Santi's hair. We developed it for my daughter. And that's the other picture? Yes, that's my, that's my daughter. And my daughter used to cry every night that we do her hair. She said, it's itching, it's too heavy. So it's light, it's age-free, it's inexpensive, and it's 100% made in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Selling it. People know already. <laughs> <laughs> People know already. Yes. Uh, this, this is fantastic. This yes, is fantastic. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes. What's your take on this? You know, oh, it's, man. It's, it's, it's like a it's inspiring, especially you know somebody you know among the younger generation. I feel like. We need to see stuff like this and we need to hear stuff like this and we need to talk to people like you that have been in the game for 22 years, mm -hmm. you know, and then is now investing in stuff that's 100% Ghanaian made, you know, especially for a young Ghanaian. We need to hear this kind of stuff because we need to actually start investing in this kind of things, you exactly. know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What was the number of input from Brazil? Um, 32 million. Oh, Charlie. 32 million. And, <laughs> and we import more than 2 billion dollars worth of rice. Mm -hmm. When we have the, the soil that we have in Ghana is capable of making the most beautiful rice. And you know what's interesting? The, the CEO of FDA told me that most of the rice that we import from China and all these places, by the time it gets to China, it's already been sitting there for 15 years. Really? And they add paint to it. They add coloring, not paint, and then we, we, we... to make it look that white. You know, and it's, it, it, it looks those, it looked that slim and nice because they've sprayed it you know in the meantime we are growing rice here at our backyards and it's beautiful and it's grown by our cousins you know and they do it with love because they know we are eating it you know so it is very very i think we need to get to that point where before you buy something before you buy a shirt you ask was it made by a Ghanaian? before you buy a print you need to ask was it printed by a Ghanaian? because once we we do that our industry or our economy will become so beautiful mm. that the whole pastors praying to catch the dollar, <laughs> uh, all those dollar police, all those things will stop. Yeah, and it, yeah. it, it begins with us. Yeah. It, it, I think that we need to, the citizens must, must, must take action in making sure that yeah. the next generation of, of my, like my son is 10. When my son is 20, I don't want him to be crazy over the iPhone 50. I want him to ask questions like, uh, where is the African iPhone? Or where is the African phone? The one that is made in Africa by Egyptians or Ghanaians or Kenyans, you know, that's, that's the one that we should be crazy about. Because the whole world is becoming so yeah. over-mechanized yeah. that Africa yeah. is the future market. Yeah. And we can't sit here like 400 years ago for Europeans to come and take advantage of it again, then we are complaining. Mm. We need to stop the process. And I'm sort of very, you know, encouraged to hear you. And also because more and more I'm meeting people from your generation, his generation, and below who seem more focused than our generation was. You know, um, uh, uh, there's this young group of people, they, are, they started making some dark roasted Ghana coffee. And I was so impressed when I saw it. Even the packaging was world class. Yes, it's beautiful. So th that gives me hope that maybe our generation was not as hands on as we should have been, because the colonial effect was still yes. major maybe you guys will 
No, eh? we will change you make it. some dope. <laughs> dope <change it>. yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We will change it. Mm -hmm. We change it to the rap music. Yeah. We change it by 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 minimizing the whole I'm better than you, my car is nicer right. than yours. Right. Mm -hmm. And talk about spirituality and consciousness and 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 you know and talk about enlightenment. Mm -hmm. We will change it by through such amazing programs that Ministry of uh, Culture did the year of return mm -hmm. by letting people come here, mm -hmm. yeah. come and see the airport yeah. city, mm -hmm. to go to the villages and see yeah. how wholesome our grandmothers live, mm -hmm. you know, to drink from the rivers. We will change it. it. It will change. But we just must make sure that it doesn't elude us like like some of the things that eluded us in the past. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Some of the things that you learned as a past. Yes. Because when I look way back <laughs> yes. uh, to a year like where uh, you were not born. I wasn't. No. <laughs> I look way back to a year like 1972, 73, when we were sort of getting into it and we're like cautious. Yes. We have to, we have to be African. We have to do this, this, this. this. And there was such a vim. Yes. But all of that eluded us. Yes. You know. Yes. So occasionally when I hear people getting the energy and talking about it, I'm like, I've been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> but That's somehow, yes. I'm feeling, I'm beginning to feel that yours is different because it's being backed by things that will actually make the change, not it's, just the talk. It's true. Mm. And then also another thing is that, you know, you, you, your, your generation, you face neocolonialism yeah. and colonialism. Yeah. What we face is is globalization mm. and globalization mm. with all its negative mm. effects mm. comes from That's an upsurge of information mm -hmm. and data that we assess that you couldn't assess yeah. you know so yeah. a lot more people are becoming woke a lot more people are, are, are seeing other africans from nigeria yeah. being a part of writing yeah. the mathematical equations that introduce the internet a lot more people are seeing things done in tanzania people creating an energy efficient cars that's never been created mm. a lot more Ghanaians mm. are winning awards for heart mm -hmm. surgeries a lot more things are happening now because there's information mm -hmm. you know because which we didn't have they, which yeah. you didn't have and which think, was kept in libraries yeah and I, I think now we have way more access to it it's a click away you know yeah. it's uh you know and i feel like the more you learn it becomes contagious you know the right i feel like the right knowledge is, yes. is so contagious so it's like like you said now you see people all over the world especially people my age and even younger mm -hmm. they're starting to think more and more like entrepreneurs mm -hmm. you yes. know mm -hmm. and it's crazy when you see it because it's like wow you know yeah i know yeah. because you're during your age for a person to be successful that person should finish Yes. High school. Yes. Go to the university and yeah. become a lawyer, a doctor, or an accountant. Yes. Grammar schools. But yes. people are looking more at TV. People want their children to become carpenters. Mm. I've seen ladies who are Calvin. I've seen Constance Swanica. Yes. Ladies working with metal. Yes. Uh, you know, yes. so entrepreneurial spirit is coming, especially because these millennials don't have the time to wait. Mm. You mm. know, so once. Africa get to that 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 point. And you know that we are predominantly youth. Mm -hmm. They are predominantly. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. So once they get to the point where they have our backing, that go out there, don't be afraid. These were my mistakes. Mm. So please mm. don't be caught in that whole concept of becoming a lawyer or a doctor mm. before you are successful. Mm. You know, go out there and. Use. And it's so mm -hmm. so so true because <clears throat> more and more, I interview people in your generation and below. And they are following their passion. Yes. And like our time, mm -hmm. because, because law, I'm exactly. going to do this. You know, people come and say, oh, I went to medical school, but I'm now doing shoes. Yes. You know, things mm -hmm. like yes. you guys are more inclined towards your passion and yes. what you can create entrepreneurship from. Yes. So, and uh, if there's one thing I've learned today, uh, it has never, that analysis that we grew up in your colonial, colonial times, and you are growing up in an era of globalization. Yes. And whatever negative effects it may have, it's also creating an opportunity to play game through your internet. Thank yes. you, Wahem. <laughs> 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 are you struggling with this already? You are just making me No, 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 no. no. I, I, I probably was out there, but I've not crystallized it like this. That I kept wondering, but what these guys, why, why wake up? You know, but you, you're giving me a, a, a more solid understanding onto the errors and what is different. Yes. Eh? Yes. 
Intimidasi. <laughs> let, me, let me say, um, and because you were talking about, you know, the female, everything, and I, I have to say to the public today that your, uh, your wife, Anika, yes. Anika, yes. yeah, she, she's like a big brain behind your Yes, yeah? yes. She is, she is, she's the boss. I just yeah. take her around and, and, and take the award. She's the one that's, that's the, the workhorse, yeah. you know, and it cannot happen if I go home and pretend that I'm more human than she is, mm. and that's if I go home and I can have two, two more girlfriends and she can't, mm. and that's I, because I'm a man, I'm allowed mm. to, to, to want yeah. to have extra marital affairs and she can't because she's a woman mm. because if it happened like that then she will begin to cut her hair and grind it into my food small small <laughs> <laughs> you know so so it, it, it happens out of respect mm. for for each mm. other and i believe that that's another place that we as as africans should get we need to respect our women because sometimes we make the argument that oh there are more women in life than there are men the last time i checked on google in Ghana, there are more men than women. We, we overtake the women by like 0.8%. Eight, it's 50-50. Mm. God in his wisdom made Adam and Eve, I believe. Therefore, there are women and men on earth are pepe pepe. It's 50-50 mm. by some mm. nominal zero point something margins. Mm. And mm. maybe 2,000 years ago, it was relevant for a man to have more than two girlfriends or two wives mm. because men used to go to war there were no men mm. during the dark ages mm. a man stronger than you will beat you and take over your children and like yeah. their animals yeah but it's no more like that okay how was the last time we went to war yeah you know so yeah. it, it is no it's a, that type of mentality mentality must yeah we need yeah. to make a conscious effort to lower it and plus if we are learning from our forefathers our forefathers like abraham asked sought permission from his wife before he got a second one how many times do we do that so we go and get the girlfriend, and the girlfriend is now sending text messages. Wife sees and gets broken hearted before now we try to argue it out. <laughs> you know, so we need to make a conscious effort to respect our women because the yeah. woman plays a pivotal role in the yeah. development of Africa. Show some love, man. <laughs> I, I don't know how y'all will feel answering this question because. I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> this is not any regular talk show. You're on. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who, it's, I, it's, and, and it's funny to even piggyback on that. I've noticed, too, that even that mentality in women nowadays is starting to reflect on the younger women, you know, because, like I said, you know, that energy is out there and that energy is contagious. So, the more the younger women see that, listen, we have other you know, older black women that are taking more control and contributing more into just society or into their husband's lives and really being like, hey, listen, don't do it this way, do it this way. And you have to sit there and listen to it because it makes sense. You know, for me personally, you know, I have a lot of experience. <laughs> I, have, I have, I've dropped projects where my whole marketing plan was put together by my girlfriend, you know? Oh, really? You have so, a girlfriend? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, and I, I respect her a lot, and I respect her opinion. It's funny because she's a Nigerian woman, right? And she's actually, she lives in New York right now. Well, that's where I met her, obviously. And um, when I was coming out here, she's like, um, she's like I, don't, I don't think I want you to talk to your dad about me. I said, why not? She's a, eh, because right now, at this point, it's like nobody takes girlfriend and boyfriend things seriously. I want your dad to know about me when you're getting ready to marry me. I said, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay, this, this is the first time I hear about it too. Some Nigerian girl called me some time ago about some acting opportunity. That was her. That was her. <laughs> <laughs> I got your, my big. number from your son, Blackway, and I wanted to check into some acting, so, so whatever. She, that was her. She's big. She, she's an actress, actually. She has, she's done a few, <laughs> she's done a few <laughs> things in New York. So, and the funny thing is she has saw a movie that you were in before, she even started, before we even started dating. She didn't even know I was your son, right? It wasn't until recently, actually, when we saw the, 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 the was it Perfect Picture? It wasn't until we saw that, the second one, where she was like, oh, wow, I love, I love the first one. I'm like, my dad's in the first one. She's like, who is it? I'm like, the doctor. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> So she put two, two together. So um, anyway, while I was in New York, I told her, I'm like, oh, yeah, my dad, I'll see if I can connect you. Because she was coming to Nigeria, and she wanted to be in the African, you know, scene and see what was up. So I was like, you know, I'll connect you with my dad and see if he can help you with anything. But, um. Yeah, yeah, that's her. That was her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing about the first time on national yeah, yeah. TV. Same time you are hearing about it. <laughs>
Back at Chile, it's been, it's been exciting. Amazing. And okay, I don't know how grateful I am to have you sit with him and ex extend your knowledge and Likewise. everything. Likewise. And yeah, I'm glad you've gotten yeah. to meet him. Yeah. And it's all on this show. Yeah. I'm so yes. happy about that. Yeah. And uh, um, I wish you all the best. And I, I'm looking forward to a collaboration oh, between it's you guys. Oh, yes, it's yes, coming. Yes, it's yes, coming. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm going to be tapping his young energy. Like, <laughs> like he's, he's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> he's so strong and so handsome. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, you know. You know you Put your hands together, man. <laughs> and we will be right back. Messi, <laughs> your mama, fish, your bow. Hey, your mama, fish, your bow. Afia to ya to ya to ya ya E papa no yo Papa no yo Boniko Papa no yo Boniko Afia to ya to ya to ya 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 Afia to ya to ya to ya 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 E papa no ya Papa no yo Boniko Papa no yo Afia tu ya tu ya tu ya ye de no pe 